Hello guys, it's Polly here, and today we're going to react to Blue Lock episode 5. The last episode was so amazing, especially the ending. I really, really was looking forward to see Gagamar finally get the spotlight, and he got it. Also, Isagi finally understanding his ability, like what he's capable of doing. The fact that he can immediately on the spot like in the middle of a game, figure it out. I guess kind of the strategy, right? Of how to score a goal. So that's kind of that's kind of cool. Then he figured out that the one he needs to go after is that dude with the bangs. So guys, let's see what's gonna happen this episode. Okay, one one. Oh no, got the ball. You have the strength to talk so much. And you literally let. How could you do that? Chigiri. Oh shit. Oh fuck, no. Isagi? Yeah. Cool, cool. Look at him, okay? Serving, serving pose, serving face. So you finally showing himself. <laughs> so cute. Namara, let's go. Oh! Okay. Let's go. Please, please score. Wow, that, <laughs> that was it. So we won, that's it. You're good, you're good. Mm, yeah, you, you kind of did. Oh, his eyes though. He's like, everything's going according to my plan. Eyes and who? Oh, they're getting a feast. <laughs> I love those on. Mm, that's cute. There are such a best, these guys. I love them. Ah, take it, take it. <laughs> For now. Why are you sitting alone? But don't get your hopes high. Hello. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I cannot imagine how it is for him. They both kind of right, you know? But like, it's harder for Isagi to judge Chigiri because Isagi does not have injuries. Girl, what you doing? <laughs> Me, when I buy like Korean noodles, but he eats yakisoba. Yakisoba, right? <laughs> the way he walks, though. <laughs> Yeah, my stamina sucks ass. Are we finally getting to Nagi? <laughs> oh, he's the first. Isagi then Kunigami then Gin. Oh, he's so proud. Guys, so just watching the episode of Blue Lock, and well, the second episode of this, uh, the second half of this episode wasn't much, uh, but the first, like um, the way Sagi scored a goal, the way his confidence like boosted, that was great to see. Of course, when you have some achievements, you start to believe in yourself, but you should never like think too highly of yourself because because it doesn't matter that you won right now because the loss can be the next one for you so like no one no one knows so you just should like mm, i think consider your achievements with a light heart like okay i did it right now i did a great job but we don't know what's coming next because the next one guys the next um match if my memory doesn't um betray me <laughs> it's gonna be with nagi with nagi Ereo. yeah and their team like i'm telling you guys nagi my favorite like if he's in if he's on the team it's over <laughs> For me, he really reminds me of Oiko, but from Haikyuu, but not like character-wise, more of a, his physical abilities. Oiko was a beast, um, Nagi is also not a joke. So if I'm correct and the next match is with Nagi Ryo, then... <laughs> not spoiling anything, <laughs> but just... Um, it's really funny to see their like the ending. They're like, we're gonna win the the next match. Ooh. I'm like, guys, um, calm down. Okay, we still don't know who are we going against. So yeah, but I really admire their positivity. Um, yeah, you always should have a spirit. 
when you when you are in some competitions but you should never think of yourself like I'm the number one I will always win like this is a basically a road to to losing in my opinion and so yeah that was nice to see how his teammates like Isagi's teammates they all stayed and they like said we're gonna we're gonna train more that's really nice to see and I especially love Pachira like <laughs> their moments with Isagi are always so cute and just see how Vachira was really happy for Isagi when Isagi was the first among all of them after the match. And yeah, a little bit of Chigiri's story is finally revealing. And like I said, Isagi could never fully understand Chigiri because Isagi does not have an injury. And I think it's not in his place like to speak about Chigiri. Of course, he maybe wanted to say something good, but sometimes it's better not to say anything, to be honest, because you can see how Chikiri is. For him, being in blue lock right now is like, it's so dangerous because he wants to be there because he loves football, but at the same time, he understands that football can cause him a lot of problems. Football can basically kill his dream, even though his dream is football. Like, do you hear the irony? Yeah. His knee, like, and like his problems, I think, really affecting Chigiri's mental health for a reason, of course. That's why I think there wasn't much of a focus on Chigiri for now because we only start to understand his story. But then later, we will see a lot of like good moments regarding his character development, and we will see a lot of flashbacks. And I also really, really love Chigiri as a character. Like for me, the most interesting are Nagi, um, Kunigami, Chigiri, who is else? Well, I cannot tell you names that like Rin, uh, he's also gonna be a little bit later. I like, I wouldn't say that Isagi my favorite character. Now, I, I enjoy him as a main character, but like, I do not love him that much. Like, love, love, you know. I need to, I wanna go to uh, check the manga because I want to remember what's gonna happen next so, like I said if it's gonna be a game against like Nagi and Ryo I don't because I only remember that there were Nagi and Ryo on the same team and I don't remember the other players <laughs> that's that's how it always usually for me okay guys thank you so much for watching my reaction I hope you like it and I will see you later bye